So, you know, Steve, you knew him so well. Um, I, th this is kind of a day of reflection. I'm wondering your thoughts. Well, I just lost an, an incredible friend. I mean, I lost, uh, you know, other than my father, uh, this man had more impact on my life than anybody, you know, has. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for Jerry, I wouldn't have the career I have. I met my wife on his show. Uh, you know, through the ups and downs, he was always in my corner, always very supportive. Uh, I saw him a month ago. We had a cigar together. and. You know, looking back, I think he was saying goodbye to me, and I didn't realize it. And uh, but he always knew how I felt about him, and I knew how he felt about me. So uh, I don't have any regrets. Steve, when when you saw him a month ago, were you aware that he was battling cancer? Or was that something that he had kept private? No, he never he never mentioned anything. Uh, you know, I knew something was wrong, uh, just because of the way he he was being with me. Uh, you know, we've always been very affectionate and cared for each other, but he was he was very emotional that night, and uh, he hugged me like he never hugged me before, and he, he was telling me he loved me, and, um, you know, I, I didn't really take it out as ordinary. And, and the other thing that was a little bit different was when we got together, we never really talked about the old times like people do and tell the same stories they told a million times. We would really just catch up on our families and his grandson and my son, you know, they both play sports, and so we would talk about things like that. But we did reminisce a lot that night. And uh, again, you know, when you're in the moment, you're not really thinking about things. And and I, you know, and honestly, if you asked me that night who would live longer, I I thought Jerry would outlive me. Guy never smoked, never drank. Uh, you know, kept his weight in check. He was, you know, he's a very youthful, 79 years old. I, I guarantee you that. And I, I really thought the guy would live to 100. So I'm just you know, and he did not let on that he was ill. Um, I, mm -hmm. Like I said, looking back now, I think in a way he was kind of saying goodbye to me. I didn't realize that at the time, but uh, I'm still shocked that he's gone.